yeah. gosh, we were both like we, we were both like the so most jealous, jealous people in the world. Yeah, you know? this was like we gosh, we really took the areas that were the hardest for us in life and we're like <laughs> Went head on. Okay, I guess well, I guess that's what we're going to do. Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Connor and I'm Brittany. Today we're talking about jealousy on this video. Yeah, and how to get rid of jealousy because we know get people rid of jealousy. want to get rid of jealousy. <laughs> But first, we want to tell you about our program, or remind you about our program, which totally rocks jealousy. Yeah, it's a good segue into this video. We have an entire chapter devoted to jealousy and... Compersion. Yeah, kind of its opposite distant cousin, compersion. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not the only thing. You know, our program, we talk a lot about compassionate communication and support and vulnerability. And if you're desiring any of these things in your life, develop more of them with yourself and with your partner and partners, freaking check out our program, man, because it's the real deal and we've poured our, our hearts into it and all of our knowledge and experience and here's a discount code because we really want you to check it out and invest in yourselves. We really believe in what we're doing here on YouTube and this is kind of like a condensed version. Um, it's a sampling. Yeah, it's, well, like this video is kind of a condensed version of some of the things that you might be yeah, like getting that. into in the program. So if you have areas of your life in your relationships or with yourself that you're investigating right now and you want to do some growth and some healing, this is an awesome program to do that. So, so on to jealousy. Let's do it. Jealousy is the thing that we feel, you know, and it makes sense <laughs> that it's uncomfortable sometimes and that we have a desire to get rid of it or to get over it mm. or to fight against it yeah what do you think about those things yeah I think sometimes with these uncomfortable feelings we experience there is this desire to like resist them and to go against right. them. Resist them and what I think I've found and we've found is that in welcoming them and learning more from them embracing them loving them allowing them to flow rather than trying to block them you know because our that dam like is gonna break at some point yeah exactly and to accept them and understand them and learn from them it's a whole different thing and when we welcome those things in especially these uncomfortable emotions when we welcome them in we have the ability to gain so much more data on ourselves mm -hmm. which you know self-understanding eventually leads to more possibility for self-love and growth and more happiness exactly. in your life which will lead to over time probably less jealousy but yeah. but approaching it from like the goal isn't to be like to fight against jealousy or to not feel jealousy the goal is like to understand why am i feeling this emotion that i'm calling jealousy mm -hmm. and see what's actually there yeah i think that's so perfectly said and this goes with every emotion, you know, like every emotion that we experience is really important and it's there for a reason. And if we just have that mindset, yeah. it makes things a lot easier. And then we come at it at like, okay, I'm feeling this thing. Yes, it's uncomfortable. Can I be okay with it? How much can I lean into this feeling and yeah. just be with it right now in a connected way? So like intentionally kind of sitting down and connecting with it rather than letting it like totally overwhelm us and consume us yes and that can be you know challenging to first set up for yourself um, I'm just thinking of like some real-life examples that might be helpful as to like when I felt jealousy and what I've done with it and and what it's yielded to me as you're thinking about that I wanted to add one more thing to what Please. you said which is I love thinking about walking this line between experiencing my emotions especially some of these uncomfortable ones and learning from them and then not getting lost in them using the data to help me understand more of what i do want and what i'm actually looking for and going from there and yeah. oftentimes what i found specifically with jealousy is that i'm feeling lack about somebody else's abundance it's just that something i've witnessed or something i'm perceiving is bringing up a feeling of lack within me and it has nothing to do with what they're experiencing. And so what that tells me is like, what I actually want is to be feeling inspired and to be like, I want to look at them and say like, that's inspiring and I'm so excited for them. I feel compersion for them. And to feel my own fullness and to feel like I'm really badass in all these ways mm. that I'm pursuing. And to remember that they're two entirely different things. And 
we talked about this more in other videos but a lot of this we really feel like comes from how you're caring for yourself and when our needs are met and when we're really taking care of ourselves it's a lot easier to feel that compersion for others yeah yeah that was great Thanks. i was just kind of thinking about like some experiences i've had throughout our time together yeah where the end conclusion has pretty much been what you were just talking about Hmm. But the process, you know, it can feel kind of like challenging and sometimes for me it's almost felt like it's not worth it, man. It's <laughs> not worth it. It's, it's too pain painful. It's too much. No. It's too much. But the end result um, has yielded that. And so, yeah, do you think it'd be helpful if I just shared like a Please, small personal experience? I think experience? people would love that. So I'm just thinking back. Um, okay, so when, when we kind of first started connecting like in Austin, Texas, and we were really together and we were in the same physical space. There were times where I felt like I would see you connecting with other people physically or emotionally in ways that I was really craving for myself. And I felt like strong jealousy and it was painful and uncomfortable. And what it was bringing up for me was this part of me that was feeling like, she gets whatever she wants. She can conjure up love and connection and energy from other people like that. Like it's so easy for her. All she has to do is just walk out there and smile and be herself and people are just like shoo, attracted to her and like all over it. And I was feeling like I'm not that, you know, like I can't generate that for myself. I'm not good enough or I'm not powerful enough. And I was really, I was really wanting that. And at the time, because I, I think I was so focused on not having that right that i felt like the only way i could get it was from you and right. so it felt like this this kind of cycle of being stuck in seeing lack and then refocusing on like wanting this thing from you yeah and that jealousy was really uncomfortable for a while until i kind of i guess it was a process you know of getting to know it and sitting with it and there were times when I just wanted to run away and and get away from it all and I asked myself like is this really what I want to be doing and I and I talked to you about it too like this is really hard I need something from you I yeah. need things to change or I need this or I need that and at no time did I feel like we ever said we just got to get rid of it we got to push through this this is what we want to do right. it was like you know you really held space for me and and allowed me to experience my jealousy in a loving way without expecting me to change and this wasn't the entirety of myself that was that were feeling these uncomfortable feelings i also had that space yeah. where i wanted to feel the jealousy yeah. in a loving way as well yes and initially um you know after getting having some time feeling like it was overwhelming getting to a space where i could be with it and say all right i know that i'm experiencing this and that it's mine and that I want to know it because it's it's not the only time that I felt it in my life right right I've been feeling it throughout my entire life and every time it keeps coming back and feeling uncomfortable and every time I either want to run away for it or shut it down or like force it to change and this time I want to heal it I actually want to allow it to change and bringing it closer and observing it and then holding space for it to ask questions and, and learn about it and getting to know it to the point where I could actually love it has changed the way that I've experienced the world and experienced our relationship and experienced you in those exact same situations that right. were feeling so hard for me in the past. Yeah. And the end result is something that you were just describing, which is like recognizing that I might be feeling lack and connecting with myself and giving myself what I may be needing and really recognizing that you gave me an opportunity to see what I was needing in my life so that I could go out and get more of it or ask for it from you. That was so beautiful. Thanks for sharing that. I feel like that's been like my so, process yeah. for like almost two years, you know? It's so cool to hear you reflect on it. Like it's been a while since we've yeah. talked about it in yeah, this way. Yeah, I, I, it's cool for me just to talk about it like that yeah because yeah. I yeah I've really felt the change over time and when you describe it that way I can really like 
remember it with these real life examples. Yeah, me too. And for you and for me too, I feel like I've been on a similar yeah. journey, different, different and similar. And yeah, I think for both of us, what we've, we have essentially gotten rid of a lot of our jealousy, but that has not been the right. goal. Like, right, right, right. That wasn't even... That was like the outcome, but not yeah. the intention. Yes. Yeah. And I think having the intention to understand ourselves, yeah. to be with any uncomfortable emotion that comes up, yeah. to love ourselves, to love and support one another unconditionally, that's been a huge focus. And it's amazing to have someone else there who can do that for you, but it's not necessary, you right. know? Like, it does ultimately come down to us as individuals to um, to self-reflect, to self-observe, to self-love. Yeah. I think it comes down to, like, we all want to feel our power. We want to feel special. We want to feel badass. Yeah. We want to feel seen by the world for the unique individuals that we are. Oh my gosh. We want to be able to express ourselves. We want to feel like we can generate all the love that we need and that we're so set. Mm -hmm. We want to feel like we have nothing to worry about and nothing to fear. And yes. sometimes, somewhere in there, we can get caught up focusing on the opposite of what we want and then it gets really freaking scary, especially mm -hmm. when you love someone so much. Mm -hmm. That can be really scary mm -hmm. because it feels like so much is on the line. Yeah, yeah. But being with those emotions, being with that fear has been so worthwhile for us. And and we feel like we can offer a lot of really safe ways to do it mm. and safe ways to hold space for yourself and your partner and ultimately really have these amazing transformations yeah. in your life and in your connections with others. Yeah, I just want to say that, you know, um, when I was experiencing all of those things like, I can't generate this love for me mm. or like, it's so easy for her that's really changed for me, yeah. you know? Oh man, like you... Like I feel like it's, it's, it's not like, oh, I can just generate a lot of that, but like it is, it, is, it feels possible. It feels like I am worthy enough, you know, I deserve love and if I want it, I can have it. And not just from like other people over there, but from you, you know? Because there were times when that jealousy took over so much that I felt like I don't even deserve your love. Or and so, when, or or my love. So when when you were giving it to me, or when the world was giving it to me, or trying to, it was like I couldn't even accept it because right. I was so lost in those parts that felt non-deserving. You know? Yeah, that's such a good point. Yeah, and that all that, you guys, it's all like healing and growth. That's that's really like such a beautiful way to, for me anyway, to kind of view my journey in life, which is like I'm constantly healing, I'm constantly growing. That's the evolution. That's the track. And this is a huge, like, I'm, I've am i changed so much in this area. I, could, I can't even tell you in a Oh, video. my gosh. We were both, like, we, we were both, like, the so most jealous, jealous people in the world. Yeah, you know? this was, like, we, gosh, we really took the areas that were the hardest for us in life and were, like, <laughs> went head on. okay, I guess, well, I guess that's what we're going to do. But not in a fighting way. Like, no, in a head-on, in like, way. come here, I'm going to hug you. <laughs> Love the shit out of you. Yeah. So it's definitely, it's definitely possible. Anything that you want to do with jealousy, with anything, with anything, you can make it happen. You know, patience and love and compassion, all those things I think are great tools to bring with you as you let that journey unfold. And doesn't have to look like our journey. No, 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 no. Yeah, please do it in your own unique and awesome way. But we really do encourage you to check out our program and we'll, we guide you in that program to find your own unique, exactly. authentic way. Oh, so man. check it out. We want to help you change your lives, and it's really worth investing in yourself. You deserve it. Much love to you. Snapchat Connor and Brittany. Ah! No, just Connor and Brittany. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>